Hello, and welcome back to Demon Crawl with Brian. I'm recording this episode right after the previous one. We're in the middle of our third quest. I'm going to move forward to the next level, Devouring Pig and Sewer. Ooh, boy. Lose the first item in your inventory whenever you make a mistake. Ooh, what's the first item in my inventory? It's the shop bonus. So maybe I want to use the shop first, actually. And what's the other thing? At the start of the stage, lose up to half your items. Stage is an additional heart for each item lost this way. Oh my goodness. I don't like this at all. <laughs> um, lose up to half your items. So I might want to hold off on to going to the store in case I want to buy the items and not lose them. Trade-offs. Um, hmm. I think I'll hold off using the store right now, and I'm going to go ahead into this level so that I can possibly replenish some of my items. So, let's see what happens to my inventory when I enter this place. And maybe it's only going to happen after I make my first click. Sacrificed five items. Oh, man, I lost the torch. Alright, but we did get the lantern kept, and so that could potentially still help me out. Sadly, the puzzle piece was not one of the ones that was lost, because that would have been super good. Uh, and the good thing is, we did at least get some hearts. Uh, and so if we take damage on this level, we're at least somewhat compensated for the items that we lost. So we got some hearts lying around on the ground. And now I might want to use some treasure boxes to replenish my inventory. It's a risk. Let's, again, not open the treasure boxes just yet. I'm still not sure kind of like how to play the metagame. I don't have a good sense of what percentage of treasure boxes are going to be good things versus bad things versus maybe double-edged sword kind of things that I haven't come to appreciate the trade-offs of, and so I don't even know how to evaluate it if they're good or bad. And since the lantern is fully charged, I'm kind of tempted to go ahead and use it now, and then I could probably use it again later in the stage. I think that might actually be smart. So I'm going to just find an area that's not near any numbered cells. Maybe over here, just to add some lights so that we glean some numbers and hope that my lantern's going to recharge by the next time I actually quote-unquote need it. Because there is value, given the way that mana regenerates as you expose cells, there is value in using your spells early so that they have a chance to recharge and you can use them again later. Okay, so exactly one of these two would cover this two, which means this square is going to be okay. And let's see, three means it's all of those. Four, even if they were packed in tightly, it would be over here and touching this one. So this one is safe. Exactly one of these means that this one is safe. Uh, but now things are starting to get a little dodgy. There's probably still somewhere else that I can make some progress without risk, so let's find it. There's one. And that opened up that. Uh, it has to be all of those, which will open up some things over here. But yeah, the monster density is definitely higher on this level. I can feel it in terms of just the way that gameplay progresses. Um, we've got a 50-50 over there. I can open up this for certain, which means I can open up these. Alright, that's going to help a ton. As will that. Alright, the lantern recharged, so it was a good thing to use the lantern. We still haven't taken advantage of the numbers that it gleaned. But I have that advantage already given to me, and I still have the ability to use the lantern again. Exactly one of these means exactly one of these. Aha, it's this one, though. So, exactly one of these means that this one has to be open. Alright, and now things get pretty dodgy over there. Is there anything else I can break open with certainty in this area? So, Two of these three, even if they were packed in tightly, at least one would be touching the two, which means this one has to be free. Uh, these are just open, so there's a lot of progress that I can gain over here without any effort, so let's make sure that we do that. 
exactly one of these two. Both would be next to the one, therefore all the other things next to the one have to be open. All right, and that guy has to go there. Let's see, that's going to open up a bunch of squares. And that will too. All right, so exactly one of these, exactly one of these. Okay, so once again, exactly one of these two. It'll be next to the two, that's next to the two, which means this one is open. The four. Two of them that are next to the four are also next to this two, which means that all three of these are open because the two is already used up. Exactly one of these two means that from the four, this one has to be a bad guy. Those have to go now. Hmm. Can I reason through anything over here? I'm not sure that I can. I might use the lantern again. Yeah, I think it's time to use the lantern again, and I think kind of in this region is a good place to use it. Would have been nice to realize that sooner. Let's try it here. Okay, a lot of fours and things. Um, hmm. This one means there's a one in eight chance here. And with a four here, well, we can already see that. So one of these eights, one of these five, If the one of these eight were the one that my mouse has hovered over right now, that would answer for this four and make all the rest of these open. Or it could be here. I'm going to try this one. It's a three. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I think that was a little bit lucky. But we're at least putting some odds forever in our favor. Okay, this one has to be, which means these have to be. Which means I can open up a ton of this. There's another treasure chest. So many treasure chests. That I'm still terrified of. I don't want another omen. Alright. We're making progress, but there's still a lot to go in this puzzle. Exactly one of these and a two means it has to be this one. That opens up a ton of things over here. Fantastic. All right, I'm definitely feeling the... We're getting into a difficult level where I need to expend all of my brain power on actually playing the game. So apologies if the trade-off is that, as a result, my commentary is not as good. We've left a lot of these sacrificial hearts on the ground and haven't had to pick any up. Uh, so I might actually want to intentionally take a 50-50 somewhere in here soon so that I can take advantage of these hearts. So let's keep in mind, and the time might have just arrived. Nope, I know that it's that one. I don't need to take a 50-50 yet. All right, but if we expose a certain 50-50, I might just want to gamble on it and then pick up the hearts to regain my health. Although I guess I'm going to damage my boots, so there's a little bit of a trade-off. The lantern is recharged. That's nice. Exactly one of these two, but we have three, which means it's got to be this one. And it's got to be those. There's another one of the sacrificial hearts from the start of the level. Exactly one of those. Okay, it's once again possible that we're getting into 50-50 range over here. Uh, exactly one of these two means this two will be used up and it can't be this one. Exactly one of these two means it's one of these three to the right of that two. So one and three is pretty good odds. Uh, if I pick up the heart, it would also give me a number here, which I think would help me out. So I think what I'm going to do is take a random stab over here. 
Uh, that just created another 50-50 if I've done my math correctly. There are still six monsters remaining. One of them is in one of these two cells. Something's in here and here. One of them's there. One of them's there. So I think actually these upper rights have some of the least probability, so I'm going to click on them. And then see if I can reason something through that. Okay, so exactly one of those means that this one has to be a monster, and that's going to give you tons of information. Alright, there's another crazy sacrificial heart. They're so crazy. I declare it so. Alright, we did it. <laughs> Do I want to pick up any more treasure chests? I'm pretty happy with my set of items. I don't feel like the need to take on more risks, so I'm going to say no. So let's finish this stage. And let's instead take our 49 coins to the item shop. I could also gamble with the coins if I really want to go nuts. I guess I can do that even after I've explored what's inside the item shop. So let's take a look at what's here. Uh, armor. Fortify whenever you pass one or more turns. I'm not even sure how to pass. Uh, lose a random item instead of taking damage. I do have an item that I want to... Oh, but it's a random item. If I could select the item, it would be awesome, because I could get rid of the puzzle piece. Uh, and fortify whenever you open a chest. Ooh. That sounds pretty good, actually. I'm going to buy that one and see what else appears. Gain 100 mana and lose one life. Uh, I don't really need that. I think I'm happy enough. Okay, let's move forward to this one. The end of the stage, duplicate all your omens if you're injured. So once again, I'm going to try not to get injured, but I'm always doing that, so that's kind of not too interesting. Also, my lantern is recharged, so let's go ahead and use the lantern at the start of the level in an area where it might help me later. How about right here? All right. Oh, and there's a zero. Um, sure. Let's go ahead and open up all those squares, because that's a good thing. And then hopefully the lantern will recharge again in a little while. And we'll be able to use it again. And everything's going to come up swimmingly. And I'm going to play perfectly. And we're going to win the game. And then we'll all celebrate by pressing the like button. <laughs> I'm going to be curious now. I almost never say press the like button during my videos. And so I'm going to be curious to see if this video ends up with more likes. Uh, than other average videos in this particular series. But, yeah, I, for the most part, don't care about numbers on YouTube, so I don't do much to cater to them. Okay, let's see what we got over here. Uh, I can open up that, which will open up a whole lot over here, and the lantern's already recharged. Let's use it again somewhere in this area, I think. This is a very good item, I think. And look at this, a bunch of zeros again. Alright, so we kind of opened up that whole area, and there's a zero over here, so everything next to the zero can be unlocked. So then that one's got to be a monster. Alright, lantern, very good item. That's what we've learned today, if nothing else. The music in this one's pretty spooky. But it's spooky in a way that's kind of like pop spooky as opposed to actually spooking me, if that makes any sense. That's my opinion on it anyway. I think I have the music so it's kind of relatively low in the background relative to my voice based on how the videos are turning out. Let's see, do I see an obvious place to go? Exactly one of these two, and means that this one has to be open. Exactly one of these two mean that this one has to be open, and that opens up a bunch of stuff. Okay, let's go from there then. And see what other information we can glean. To use a technical term in its more familiar sense. Okay, three. Exactly one of these, but the two here means that that one has to be a baddie. Exactly one of these would be next to this, so that one has to be open. 
exactly one of these means two of these, which we already knew from over here. But even if they were packed in tightly, at least one of them would be touching the one over here, meaning this one has to be open. Exactly one of these two, that's not really getting the information. And I don't believe the lantern has recharged yet. It almost has recharged. If I can get a little bit more, then we could do something amazing. All right, so this one. There we go. Lantern's fully charged. Let's use the lantern somewhere in here. Oh, lantern. You're like my favorite item. What lies in the shadows? Exactly. All right, that goes there. That goes there. We can open up this whole section. And I think we're still at some 50-50s over here. Can I reason through any of this? If exactly one of these, and we have a three here, then this one has to be. So presumably that will help me. Yeah, not helping quite enough just yet, though. All right, let's pick a different section of the puzzle, then. Uh, here's some obvious progress. Let's take it. Similarly here, should be able to solve this whole portion. And now we have to work our way towards this. Oh, I did not realize that that was opening up but that's very fortunate. Hmm. Yeah, we have a bunch of difficult choices to make over there. Three, basically two of these, even if they were packed in tightly, at least one of them would be touching the one from the bottom, which means the top portion of this one has to be free. Uh, which means exactly one of these two. So for this three, it has to be this one. There we go. When in doubt, reason it out. And you're not actually in doubt. Oh, and there's a case. Okay, I gleaned, I uh, clicked on a four, and my spy thing caused some other numbers to light up. So for example, this one means that it's already next to this one, so these two are openable. So there's my spy mastery kicking in in a way that I hadn't fully appreciated before. I knew from the description that it would be able to do that, but I don't know that I'd actually witnessed it doing that before. If exactly one of these two, then because of the four, this one has to be. Exactly one of these two, then because of the four, one of those two has to be. That's not really information that I can use. But there is information I can use over here to probably open up all of this. Yeah. Okay, we got some good things going here. Terrific. All right. I'm, I'm having fun with this game. I feel like it's keeping me right now engaged at my skill level. How long till the lantern recharge? It's almost recharged. Can I pull it off? Can I find something else that will help me fully recharge the lantern? I could also open the treasure chest to gain another number there, I think. And so I may end up doing that. Because I'm not sure that I see anything. So let's open the treasure chest. Hope we get lucky. Oh, you betcha. Uh, what did that say? When you discover a cell six or greater, gain two souls. All right, not exactly sure what the souls do, so it doesn't help me a ton. And where did I just expose a number? Like right here, perhaps? If I did, exactly one of these tells me a couple of these. Yeah, we really do not have a lot of information to go on here. Okay, at most one of these, Most one of those, at most one of those. Okay, at most one of those, but at most are exactly two of these. So two of these, even if they were packed tightly towards the bottom, at least one of them would be touching the two. And here's the other thing touching the two, which means that has to be open. There we go. Reason it out. 
exactly one of those. Hmm. Exactly one of these two. Aha! Exactly one of these two, but this one needs three. So this one has to be. Exactly one of these two. But this one needs three, so this one has to be. I think all of that logic is correct. Oh, I'm really... I'm really stretching things here. The lantern is at 86 of 90 mana. We're so close. Can I reason any more out? All right, exactly one of those two means we have a one in three chance of just taking a guess over here, and so I think I'm gonna do it. Because I don't think there's anything else I can do. Is that true? Fortify whenever you open a chest. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, and I opened a chest. Uh, except for I should have used this first. Is there another chest still on the screen that I forgot about? I should have consumed that before opening the chest. I forgot that I had that thing. Darn. I could have fortified. Uh, and everything else is just a passive, it looks like. Okay. I think I'm down to taking the one and three. Although, hold on. Two of eight is the same as one and four, so actually clicking next to any of these twos would be better odds. Hey, and we charge my lantern. Yes! Okay. <laughs> lantern, save me. Let's try over here. Oh my gosh. We're so thick with numbers. Um, I still might not be using the lantern optimally, but I'm okay with that. Okay, exactly one of these two. Furthermore, there's a two here. So that's going to use up all the spots next to the two, which means next to this two, all of these are safe. Okay. Let's see what other things along those lines I can manage to pull off here. Exactly one of these two, which means next to these two, everything on the left, which means these three have to be safe, thanks to this two. Um, what else can I do with this? This two means there's one here and one here. So this four means there's two left in these range. That doesn't really help me a whole lot. Got our 50-50s here. Yeah, I gained some information, but I'm not sure that it's enough to drive forward with any certainty. Is there anything else I can do here? Ah, uh, maybe. Hold on. There still could be something good here. Okay, exactly one of these two means that one of these three But it's also two of these six. The four here. Ooh, the four here. And there's only five cells next to it that it could be. So these are very probably containing monsters. I can reason through this, actually. Okay, so four of these five cells on the right side of this four have a monster. So if four of the five cells have a monster. That means at least one of the two top ones here does. Which means from this two, at least one of them is coming from here. Uh, it's not quite doing enough for me just yet. At least one of these two above and below the four is going which can help reason about that too, but still not quite enough. Yeah, I feel like there is still reasoning that could be applied, but I'm not finding it. So what's my best chance? Two and eight is a one and four in this section, so let's just click a number and hope that we get lucky. Um, let's click another number. Ah, darn it. My bronze boot spoke and we're- oh, we're just barely alive. Oh dear. All right, but we did open uh, a heart. Thank you. Uh, a bunch more of the puzzle now, all of a sudden. So we can go back to just kind of playing Minesweeper and see if we can reason things out again. 
All right, so I know that that goes there. Uh, exactly one of those. Doesn't really tell me a whole lot. Oh dear, am I already getting back into trouble? No, I can open these. Okay, this is going to help a lot. That opens. That has to go there. That opens that. Great. Okay, take a deep breath. We're still making progress. Do I have any other items I could activate to help me? Double my money, fortify when you open a chest. Not really. Lantern is still going to take a little bit of time to recharge. Five. Here we go. So all of those have to be monsters. That's a big deal. Okay. Now, very gently. The st Oh! What did this give me? Gain two souls. I don't know what souls are. <laughs> Where do they even show up? I don't know. I apparently have two souls. I'm not sure what they are. Should try to read about that at some point. Okay, there's a monster there. Six means all of those guys are monsters. Uh, what can we reason out here? That guy has to be a monster. Exactly one of those is a monster. Oh boy. Uh, that has to be a monster. That'll help a ton. The lantern is recharged. Um, let's wait to figure out exactly where is the best place to use it. Because I may be able to reason a bit more of this out. Alright, I've already got like a 50-50 there. There's a lot of information here. I might be able to reason this out. Alright, there's still 10 monsters left. We got a 50 50 there, 50 50 there, 1 and 3 over here. Can't really reason through that. I've got a 50 50 here, 50 50 between one of these. Ooh, okay. Here's a 2. Two of these three have to be. However, only one of these two can be, so this one must be. And so. What else can I do with that information? I think we might need to use the lantern again. Yeah, let's hope somehow the lantern's gonna help me. Uh, I could get eight squares here. I'm not sure if it's better to get more squares uh, with numbers in them or more... Uh, High value spots. I feel like the high value spots might be more important. So I feel like this is actually maybe going to help me. That gets me eight, and it's near a tile that I have over here. So let's try to reason through this. Okay, here we go. One of these two. If it's this one, then all of these would open up. Is that possible? Hmm. Also with the five here, and the two here, hmm, and a five here. Oh boy. Okay, there's only nine monsters left. One of them is here. Let's try to put monsters in the corner. One of them's way over here. In fact, one of them's over here and two more are over here. So there's three monsters in this section in order to cope with this four. There's one monster over in this section. So that's four total monsters, which means there's only five monsters remaining in this whole area. And furthermore, we have two fives here. Uh, one of them's taken up by right here. But yeah, this five has to be five monsters in here that I haven't revealed. Six, seven, eight, nine. So that means these two squares have to be open because there's no room for any monsters in here. So I can open up both of these two cells. That was genius. I'm really proud of my reasoning there. Okay. 
exactly one of these two means that this one has to be a cell. Great. Go, go, gadget reasoning skills. We are making progress. Okay. What else can I do here? I can identify that one. Ha ha! Look out, world. Okay. Exactly one of those two. Therefore, exactly one of those two down here. So one goes here, one goes here. There's three other monsters in the puzzle. All three of them have to be near this five. So if one is here, one is here, and three of them are here, then neither of these two can be monsters. I'm pretty sure it's correct. Nice. Which means it has to be these two. Nice. Which means I think I can reason out the entire rest of the puzzle. Exactly one of these two. One, two, three, four. It's got to be this one. That's open. Has to be that one. Ah, oh, but now we have a 50-50, don't we? Oh, that's so rude. Uh, no, because this two means that it's not this one because we've already taken care of the two. There we go. Need it. Did it. Back up to four seven hearts. Everything is great. Everything is awesome. Oh my gosh, that was so difficult. And we got a level up. Woo! Level 22. Banshee Avatar. Alright, there are still more levels. I don't have any item shops that I can spend on items, so I think it's unlikely that I'm going to succeed. Uh, we are starting to run long. Oh, it's Chaos Font. Uh, receive a random item below. That's good. That's good. That seems okay. I'm not sure exactly what bones are. You will not discover strangers. That's fine with me. So yeah, let's buy it. All right. Uh, let's buy another one. Let's buy another one. I don't think I mind the Mark of Exile. So let's buy another one. Okay, we got the four good things. I think at that point I'm pretty happy. So let's leave. Let's read through them again. Gain bones for each life you're missing. I'm not sure what bones are, but I am missing three life, so it seems like I just want to spend that. Uh, gain one defense. That seems good. Items you find will be worth at least 30 coins. That's nice. And every 100 cells, fully charge your magic items. That also seems great. Okay, this might actually give me the ability to push through. So I think I want to spend these spells right at the beginning. So, give me bones. I don't know what bones are. Bury in a random cell to give it sanctified, then restore life equal to the cell's value. <gasps> oh, wow. I need that. But first we'll gain one defense. Okay. Bury in a random cell. And restore lives equal to the cell's value. If it has a monster, kill it when you restore life. That sounds great. Okay, bones are now my new favorite thing. So, I'm going to click on a cell to go ahead and open up some of the puzzle. And then, let's try burying a bone. Oh, it just buries in a random cell. Got it. But it gave me one life. So I'm up to five to seven. What is the power level of this puzzle? Power is four to eight. So I, with one defense, still need to try to get some more life. So let's bury another bone. Uh, actually, since it's a random cell... It might be good for me to unlock some more of the puzzle first. Oh, let me use my lantern. If it's charged, it's not charged yet. Um, yeah, I guess I'll do some puzzling, and then we'll use the bones again in a moment to try to gain some more life. I'm not exactly sure how to reason through this. And I need to make sure I don't spend so much time thinking about the bones that I forget to how to play the game. So let's be careful. <gasps> ah, being overloaded with information. Good job, game. You're making what was challenging even more challenging. But that's fun. Okay, I can fortify and open this treasure chest. Let's totally do that. So, fortify when you open when whenever you open a chest. So I'm going to use this, and then I'm going to 
open a treasure chest. I'm becoming a better pirate. And now I have one plus two fortification. So I think that means I could survive a hit from a monster. Uh, no, they could hit for up to eight, so it could still kill me. So I still might want to use a bone. Yeah, so I think let's go ahead and use... Oh, what did I get over here? Right, I opened a treasure chest. If target, cell, if target hidden cell has a value of three or greater, gain three minions. All right, so I could apply this to a cell that might have a three or more. Uh, I think I could do that. Four means there's like three over here. Let's just take a chance with this. So if I do this and apply it right here. Danger detected, plus three minions. Neat. Okay, I gained minions. I'm not even sure where they are or if they're visible on the board, but I think that's gonna help me in the long run. Um, so yeah, perhaps my minions will become exposed at some point in the future and they're gonna help me. I don't quite understand all of that mechanic. But that's okay. Sometimes there are game mechanics that you don't need to fully understand to still have them work in your favor. And so I think in hidden cells, there might be bad guys walking around who are going to help me out. Or, I say bad guys. They're good guys. They're my minions. Go, go, gadget minions. There's the one that I clicked on earlier, I think. Okay. Lantern is still not fully healed. Oh, these are my minions. Solve a random cell. If you're about to take damage, this minion will sacrifice itself to deflect one damage. That's what minions are. Okay. I had miss reasons about what these are. Solve means to correctly flag or unflag a cell. Got it. Okay, that's super useful. Uh, if I need a 50-50, it can deflect some damage and still solve the cell. Alright, so I'm happy about that. Uh, let's go back to just puzzling. Nice, the lantern is charged. Let's use it. There's some zeros over here from my spying. Uh, here's a nice thick section that looks like it could be difficult. So let's clean a bunch of monsters, uh, a bunch of things over there, and let's go ahead and take advantage of some of the zeros that we know about. To start recharging some other mana things. And... Yeah, I think I'll wait until I'm potentially taking damage before I bury another bone. Alright. And I think this answers something I was talking about in the previous video, was I wasn't sure to what extent this game was going to continue to surprise me with more interesting depth. And already the minions and bones and things that I'm getting from this level are more interesting depth that I kind of wasn't expecting yet. Exactly one of these two. I need two here, which means that one has to be. Alright. Yeah, so that's a good thing in terms of just how, how this is going for being an entertaining game. I don't remember exactly what I paid for this game. Somewhere in the neighborhood of $7, I think, but I already feel like I'm getting my money's worth out of it. And I've only had it for a week or two. So that is cool. Oh boy. I'm fairly certain there's still going to be things I can reason about here. There we go. That will help. That will help. Five it has to be both of those. That opens some more in here. Alright, I can feel myself becoming a little bit like mentally fatigued though by all the things that are going on, so I have to play even a little bit more carefully than my usual already playing pretty carefully in order to make sure I don't blow it. Exactly one of those two, it'll be touching that one, which means this one is safe. Which means it has to be these. Which means it has to be those. Neat! 
Everything charged up. Right, because I revealed 100 cells. Right, every 100 cells you uh, reveal everything. Okay, that's awesome. So what did this one do? If target cell has a value of 3 or greater, gain 3 minions. Okay, so do I have such a cell that I feel somewhat confident in? Uh, there's a 5 right here. And so... It's highly likely that nearby cells are also going to be high. Uh, let's go ahead and use this here. Neat. Okay, I gained more minions. Terrific. Still haven't needed to use them, but I've got a whole bunch of them in my inventory now. Perhaps we'll be able to sacrifice them for other reasons as well. Okay. Uh, that has to go there. We have exactly one of these two, which means this one has to be safe. We have exactly one of these two, which means two of these three, which still is not enough information to do anything interesting. But that opens. Uh, let's see, exactly one of these three. Yeah, still not quite enough information for me to do something good there. Alright, we can open that. Exactly one of these two mean that that's gonna open. Yeah, once again, apologies for commentary kind of going into the toilet. But I'm really expending all my brain power to play the game right now. All right. Uh, I never reused the lantern after I recharged it, so let's use the lantern. Um, this area seems like it could be good. Zeros, hooray. So everything surrounding the zero is safe. Okay, that has to be a monster. Go, go, gadget. And what is the other thing I have charged? Uh, gain one defense, yes, I should totally be doing that. Why did I not do that earlier? And gain bones for each missing life, yes, let's get some more bones. I'm gonna fill my inventory, it's amazing. And at this point, I have so many bones, I might as well just bury it, and yep, I just got a plus two, so I'm up to seven power, okay. I think we're gonna pull this off, this is amazing. Okay, don't forget about your spells. When your spells recharge, use your spells. This is how to win at video games. <laughs> Thank you for attending my tech talk, TED Talk. Um, okay. Great, 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 great. Okay. In this corner, exactly one of these two means this one has to be... No, oh, no, I did it wrong. All right, uh, minions appear to have like sacrificed themselves or something. So I did that wrong. I'm not sure how I misreasoned about that. Probably just due to getting tired and overwhelmed. I'm not gonna try to rederive my reasoning right now. It appears that we have a 50-50 right here. Uh, I am still at full health and I do still have uh, things going for me. And so, oh, all the minions are gone. Did all the minions sacrifice themselves to take all the damage? I think perhaps that's what happened there. I did not realize it would happen that way. That's kind of a shame, because I had a lot of minions. All right, if exactly one of these and we need three, then this one has to be. And that's gonna open up most of this section. Exactly one of those. Oh boy, I'm feeling overwhelmed right now. Let's try to reason it out. Exactly one of those two, exactly one of those two, one of those three, one of those three. I might be able to reason this out from the interior squares. For example, the one right here tells me it has to be this one. There we go. Great. 
Come on, Brian. You can do it. You are doing it. Everything's coming up Millhouse. So, there are 14 monsters left. Where's the whole section of the puzzle I haven't done? It's up here. Let's take a look at this section of the puzzle. We'll come back there when we have a monster count. Alright, and... It's gonna be a little while before we recharge everything. But that's okay. Because there's a lot of solvable puzzles still here. Right? 50-50... No, one of these two, that one's covered, so that one has to be open. 50-50, no, it's a 1 in 3. Exactly one of these two means this one has to be open, which is going to open all of that, which is going to be super duper useful. Deductive reasoning. Now, in video game form. <laughs> Alright. Go, go, gadget demon crawlers. Hey, there's a 6. Powered scarab. I forgot what it does. Does it fortify me? Uh, gain two souls. I gain two souls. Gain one max life and one life. That's what a soul is. Oh, souls are great. Gain one max life and one life. So I went from seven out of seven to nine out of nine. Okay, now I know what souls are. Hooray. Um, souls are my new favorite thing. There are three monsters left. They fit into those four squares, I believe. No, there's still one over here, and it's still a 50-50, correct? Yes. So I just have to bite the bullet on this because I don't have any items I could use otherwise. Yeah, so let's bite the bullet. We got unlucky. That's okay. I can now bury my bones to help give me some more uh, good luck, so let's do this. I'm up to 8 health, and I have defense, so I think I'm safe even if I make a mistake. Okay, so there are two monsters left. One of them is here. One of them is here. One of them is here, one of them is here, so at most I can make one mistake and I'll be fine. Uh, Alright, and now we don't have to worry about it at all. We finished the puzzle, and I believe we finished the quest. It ended up being a long episode, but I'm a super genius and kicking butt, and you should all praise me. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing well or if I just feel like I'm doing well, but we did it. Now, who is the Hornet of Insanity supposed to eat? Not me! Hooray! Set a new high score. Got a new mastery available in the token shot. Profit. Increase your experience gain by 25%. A legendary rabbit's foot. Every 20 cells reveal a random cell. That sounds pretty amazing. A new quest around the bend is available for purchase. But we'll worry about all those purchases and looking at new things in the codex next time because it's already been a long episode. I hope as always that you guys are having a great day. And I will see you again soon for more Demon Crawl. But for now, bye bye.